Hi guys, it's Ben here from T-Rex Space Station. How's everyone doing? Custardo mentioned Space Harrier. Well, I mentioned Space Harrier, but he reminded me that I had this Sega Classics collection on the PlayStation 2, which is like a read-made versions of, well, Sega Mega Drive Classics. And this was actually a gift from Dave Webster, so thanks very much, Dave. And it's one of those things I really wanted and was looking out for, and then I left it in my collection and didn't do anything with it. Um, so it's time to check it out. Um, I quite enjoy Space Harrier 2 on the Sega Mega Drive. I wonder if I have a charge attack. No, I don't. Um, oh, I do have a lock on. This is what uh, Costado was mentioning. I think there's some way to lock onto things, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't mind Space Harrier 2 on the Mega Drive. It's not my favourite game. Oh my gosh, it still has the goofy death animations. Um, not not the best game though is it and one of the things I always found difficult on the Mega Drive was telling how far away things were from me it's like it appears to be close it, is it coming imminently or or what did I do I, I've got a lock on here we go so if you hold down X it appears to uh, lock on in some ways Doesn't, I'm not exactly sure how to get the hang of that but I've this is the first time I'm playing it so I hold X down Oh gosh, what's going on? This is um, actually a really nice graphics overhaul. This is looking a lot... Oh, here we go. We'll charge up some kind of... Oh, that's cool. That's a very welcome addition. So those are locked on attacks. I wish that the original Space Harrier had that. That would make things a lot easier. Come on, get him. I'm not certain that that's actually... Oh, that, that's actually damaging him. Well, it seems to be targeting his tail and his head. Is there a boss health meter somewhere? Oh, I remember on the original Space Harrier 2, the enemies all go a funny colour when they're dying. There we go, he's turning different colours. He's probably dying. This is a really nice lick of paint, I must say. This classic collection's got a very good uh, variety of games on it. A lot of the Sega classics, as you might expect from the title. You know, Space Harrier, Outrun, Bonanza Bros. I'm going to have quite a lot of fun with this, I think. It's even got a remade version of Golden Axe, which I'm pretty... Well, I'm very excited about. Probably shouldn't hold my breath about that one, because I love the original Golden Axe, and I think that the pixelated-type Mega Drive graphics for that were already pretty much perfect. But, you know, you never know. We'll see. The music, sir... Uh, a bit better as well. A lot better, actually. I'm not sure what all of these power-ups are doing. These are all things that aren't in the original. They're probably helping somehow. Can you run along the ground in this? No, you can't. They've taken away the running along the ground thing. And the enemies still look pretty much as weird as ever. They're quite faithfully reproduced in terms of how they appear. Oh, we should be using this charged attack. It's very helpful to have a lock on. <clears throat> and because it's fully 3D, I can actually tell whether things are in front of me or not. Which almost makes it a bit easier, actually. I can't say that I found the original Space Harrier games very easy at all. They're absolutely solid. Just some kind of swirling death thing full of crazy rocks. I can't actually tell what that is. It's a weird face on a pill. The enemies have always been very creepy in Space Harrier, haven't they? Oh, I'm supposed to be taking down the... Alright, that wasn't too bad. I'm actually doing better at this than I normally do. Stage 3, Amar. They've added quite a few cool, quirky voice things there as well, haven't they? Can you keep it up? Of course I can. Oh, God. No, no, I spoke too soon. I actually can't. Oh, the guy's saying nice motivational things. It's kind of quirky dance music. It's like, oh shit, I got game over. Well, that was a lot of fun. You should check this out. It's a remake of Space Harry on the Sega Classics Collection on the PS2. Take care, guys, and I'll speak to you all soon.